Yo, what is good everyone? It is Zigzag here. Welcome back to GeoGuessr Explained for the first ever episode of Road to Number One over on this channel. So uh, we're just gonna have to see how the series progresses from here. Um, I need to get into the green zone of my group apparently to get up back into Master One. So we're gonna be playing some duels today and trying to do so. The twist is I'm gonna be playing against Kale Salad, who's also Master 2 at the moment, so he's fairly even rating to me, so we should get some easier games, or some more even games, I mean, and we're going to be queuing inside an NPZQ, so I'm, I'm hoping to leave this one unedited, so forgive any awkward pauses or anything, because I'm normally used to being able to break a little bit, but uh, yeah, let's uh, say that uh, let's say that we're ready and uh, hop into queue here, so I'm going to say ready now, and uh, three, two, one, and going. Okay, let's see if uh, if we're able to queue against Kale here. I actually filmed one firstly and found, found someone else, so we'll see. And Kale is our opponent, which is excellent. I'm gonna shut down the chat here and uh, give Kale a wave. And the first one here looks like it's gonna be an Estonian. We have an Estonian flag. Nothing too special here. I kind of got North Coast vibes here, um, but uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go up here. And okay, it was just in the center of the country. Probably didn't really need to go for such, such a, a ballsy guess, but it's a matter of 100 points, so not gonna uh, feel too strongly about that. Less than less than the 60th of our health. So next one here, we've got the front of the Google car. It looks like we've got a lot of red brick going on. The sun is to the north, so are we in Argentina right now? Is my is is my thought? Um, it it doesn't. <laughs> it's a very difficult round. 2022 coverage red bricks everywhere it could still be like colombia or something like that but yeah with the sun so north i would say it is brazil or arge and i think it looks more like arge yeah it looks like arge lamps so thinking of like cordoba you know buenos aires here not too sure which is the better of the two i can take these off actually um objectively speaking he might not know the country so i should probably just go for it apartment buildings i guess you just go ba here and hope for the best um, but uh, I definitely, like, urban Argentina is notoriously difficult, can it be any of the major cities in the whole country, in my opinion, on this one, and it was B8, he goes Rosario, so not too bad there, and it's going to be a matter of only 600 points at this stage, could have been big later on, um, probably could have gone quicker to, uh, to solidify my advantage there, but that's okay, next one here, we have, uh, quite the northern Canada here, I think it should be Alberta because of the bollard over here, I'll try and do some more explaining now that it's on this channel as well. Uh, we're going southeast, which should be a pretty distinctive road angle up here. Like, you do get kind of some of those, like in in this area here, some of those angles. So, thinking that's pretty good. Could also be a bit further north as well. So, do we see any decent angle here? Hutch Lake. Does this look like a main highway? It could be. It certainly could be. Um, but I don't really see the intersection on this on this part of the highway. Uh, at this stage in the jewel, it's not going to be too much damage, but... Uh, yeah, I think I'm just going to leave it there. Tree line looks right. Like, trees look fairly tall and healthy, so I'm just going to leave it here, guys. And, okay, well, it's in northern Alberta, um, and we're basically equidistant there. Ends up being on this road here. So, yeah, something about this Jules map that they've changed is that uh, it can be pano id So sometimes it's using older coverage than what it, like, should be. Um, so that's also something unique about this as well. So sometimes you have to take the grounds with a bit of grain of salt, in a way. This feels like it's going to be somewhere near the lake to me in Kazakhstan. So Kazakhstan, we've got the square blur here. We've got Soviet poles and like very like winterish coverage. And then big mountains south here. So I was thinking like this direction here could quite work quite nicely. South, southeast. So yeah, maybe a road like this. We do have like a layer of small hills followed by a layer of big hills. I do kind of like this guess, honestly. Um, we'll see about it. Uh, southeast. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it could be like, right. Could be, could be, could be along that stretch. I really don't mind that guess. Um, we'll see. Okay, and we were on that stretch of road, very nice indeed. And uh, he's over near Bishkek, very reasonable guess as well, but uh, we are going to do a bit more damage there. So, I mean, against a player of Kale's caliber, it's not going to be a matter of big damage early. I think it's going to be coming down to those later rounds. We've got a square blur here in red soil. I'm heavily considering Ghana here. In fact, I really do think it's Ghana. I'm just going to go in for it here. It's a very thin road for Ghana. That's one, the one thing I'll say. But this blur... Combined with yeah, yeah, it's not, I don't. I'm not surprised that he got that wrong, and we end up with the win there, which is fantastic. Um, and uh, I guess I'll just get the messages straight up so I can uh, uh, chat. He's gonna he's gonna type to me first. Um, 
GG's to Kale there. Um, but yeah, the square blur would really indicate the uh, roof rack car. Um, <laughs> okay, um, I'll say three, two, one, and we'll get back in. I mean, I think from now on we should pretty much find each other, hopefully for the rest of the video, but uh, you know, I'll make sure to uh, reek you like this, you know, second channel things, man. Uh, anyway, are we going to find Kale? Maybe it is hesitant to, uh, to give us the same opponent. Uh, in which case we might need... Yep, he just got Wook. Okay, so someone else is in the queue. We're going to have to wait for someone else. That's okay. Okay, next one here. We have a 900 rated opponent. And I think I know this one immediately. It's a it's a Madagascar Trekker. And I actually don't remember the town exactly. It's not Umbunger, I think. But it might be one of these ones. I'm just going to go on this. I can't actually remember which town this is. I hope it's not Umbunja, but I think Umbunja is a bit more tropical looking and a bit more like lush looking than this one. So yeah, but yeah, you can just tell, I mean, everyone here is like of African descent and then, oh, and it was that town. Excellent. And uh, our opponent did get, did get the, did get the country. Pretty impressive for a 900 rating. And we happen to be right on the exact town. So that's a really great start because I never really learned my uh, Madagascar stuff. Next one here. Ooh, very interesting architecture. Could be like East England with these thatched roofs. Could also be Netherlands or or what I actually meant to say just then was Denmark. I think Denmark is the most likely here. Um, though the other two options that I said still well possible. Looks like these signs are set up for right hand drive. So if we were driving here, they would be. I wonder if they are they. Yeah, they are set up for right hand drive, I believe. Um, and the architecture is definitely weird with these like blue like yeah. It could be France actually. Oh, is it is France actually? I think because. What are these like blue doors doing? That doesn't make sense otherwise. I think this is like French architecture. It could be like La Rochelle on the island or something like that. That would explain the flatness and the weirdness of the architecture. I kind of like that guess all in all. What was it there? Okay, it was a bit further up on the coast, but that makes sense in the end. And our opponent swiftly loses the game there, which is fortunate for us. And uh, we can get back into the queue. So uh, let me uh, press back into the queue again. I mean, it doesn't hurt us to win against low rated, but I don't think we gained any rating for that. Okay, um, and I'll let another person know that we're back in queue. Okay, our next opponent has appeared at 1,000 rating. We should gain, gain at least one or two rating here if we win. And we're firstly in uh, Ukraine here. If we have this like kind of big red glitch, then it should be Ukraine every time. This is like flat farmland. So I was thinking maybe Poltava or maybe this region here. Might prefer that middle click a bit more, I think. And it was that middle click and our opponent does go Russia. So yeah, that's a really great one to know. Like if you do have like kind of a, a red glitch there, should basically just be Ukraine. You can trust it. It is just the red car, not the brake light. Although potentially maybe you could see the brake light too. I don't know. Next one here. This looks like I'm going to throw. What are we looking at here? We got, we're in the middle of the sand. I think it should actually be Peru. Okay. Eastern slash wet Northern mountains. I think it should be coastal Peru here. I, I am worried that I'm going to pull a Debre, so to speak, and, and, and go in the UAE on this instead. But no, I think the sand is too white. And okay, it was actually middle there. Maybe should have hedged a bit more. Opponent goes Bolivia. Good guess. I could have been disastrous if I actually like trusted my very first instinct, which was UAE. But uh, yeah, not too bad then. Not too bad. Next one here looks like it's going to be Portuguese pavement. Do we have any Portuguese plates? Maybe not. Actually, it's a Spanish sign there. But... Uh, Architecture just feels like it might be near Madrid then to me. I don't know. Like, I don't really get too much off this. Could it ever be Canaries? That's actually a thought right now. Hmm. I don't really see. Oh, look at that dryness there. It certainly could be. I'm going to go. I'm going to go all the way south anyway. Okay. Well, it's just a bit further north, but that's okay. Um, I guess, yeah, the, the houses did look quite Portuguese. So that makes sense to me. I'm glad I didn't go Canaries. That would have been a bit of a throw. But I kind of knew my opponent's never going to go there. So I don't, I'm not really... Like, I don't really have a lot of stress on my shoulders. Like, I can choose to go there if I really want to. But, you know, I, I can always fall back on the same guess that he's going to do. Anyway, next one here. I would just go Dakar with all the pollution. And it ends up being northeast. That makes sense as well, I guess. But, uh, yeah, going to be a little bit of damage here. Just 156. So, always good. And our opponent is down fairly, fairly much. But uh, still more than half the health left. Okay, we got the front of the Guha here. That definitely helps. I think it's actually... The reddish soil and the small trail really makes me think of Thailand here. I'm not really sure what we're growing. Maybe that's, is it sugarcane? I don't know. I think I would just go middle Thailand here and hope for the best. Like, the other option would probably just be 
Philippines. I don't think this is outside of Southeast Asia. It should be somewhere in this big circle I'm drawing right now. Uh, but yeah, the kind of reddish soil, the front of the Google car here, and the crops, everything checks out for Southeast Asia, I believe. And yeah, it was Thailand, a bit up towards Laos there, and our opponent is over in Brazil, so that's unfortunate. GG's to them, and uh, yeah, let's see if we can get Kale back. Okay, we are back against Kale here. Let's see if we can do some damage once again here. And good luck to the man. Okay, so first one here is France, a country I do really like to play NMPZ. And the architecture is looking remarkably generic here. The roofs are red rather than black, so that definitely leans you some places rather than others. For example, Normandy has a lot of black roofs in Brittany as well. I'm thinking middle here is really the most likely. I'm not really seeing a good reason not to go middle here. So yeah, I'm even going to go right in the middle like this. And okay, well, it's actually towards Dijon or Lyon there. And uh, uh, yep, Kale's actually over in Belgium. I think we did have a blue sticker on the pole, which in would indicate France, but I can't actually remember if I'm just imagining that or not. Uh, okay, next one here. Ooh, we have, well, this looks very Uruguayan to me. I've played a lot of Uruguay. I, I tend to recognize it pretty quickly. This looks like South Coast Uruguay. This type of palm that looks like a, like a pineapple. Um, and then the cloudy coverage and wow. <laughs> That was a tough one. That's that's a pretty funny round. I'm, I mean, he was never going to get it right. Like, I just don't really... Yeah, it was like super typical Uruguay, and that's why it's in the map. It's a bait map, so yeah, you're going to get that. Next one here, uh, immediate vibe is uh, Bangladesh. Okay, and we have Bengali up here, so yeah. If you see Bengali and it's Generation 4 camera, new quality camera, then you should be go good to go there. Um, and do we have anything here? Looks like we actually do have the ocean to our west southwest there so maybe just chittagong i think that could make sense i might go there and okay well it's just in barishal there and uh yeah i mean actually that's a good guess from kale as well the uh, angle definitely made sense there so uh fair play fair play okay next one i mean uh, uh, and, and chittagong didn't really make too much sense there it would have been more built up i think green guardrail here no idea what that means uh but it is japan because it's the japanese style and then we have the low cam but the Japanese style of guardrail, it's a bit different shaped. If you, could, you just go to Europe and compare and you'll see that the Japanese ones are differently shaped. Uh, this could be anywhere in Japan for my money. Like it could, it's not Hokkaido and it's not, I don't think it's one of the South Islands, though it could be. Um, I'm just going to go like hedge for Kyushu here. I think it should be fine. And okay, <laughs> one, one of the, it was a South Island, but you know, one of the, one of the Tokyo ones instead. I kind of hedged here in case because, yeah, it could have potentially been, I don't know, it was just a bit of kind of a crap round, like it, rural Japan is impossible. Okay, this is Oz. I think Kale's probably better than I am at Oz, but uh, yeah, I get the feeling this might be near Alice Springs, like one of one of these places out here. Not really sure which of these national parks, but I'm going to send it in because I feel like that is pretty likely. Um, And sheesh. Yeah, he got 15, minute, 15 minutes away. Was there writing there? I'm not sure. Fortunately, that doesn't happen to us at higher multis because, yeah, I mean, this map is very frustrating on NMPZ. It is so difficult to be consistent. Uh, okay, next one here, though. We've got black backs of the signs. We've got short place. It is Italy. And it kind of feels like Rome or Rome adjacent to me, so I might just send that in in case he didn't see anything. I'm going to go Naples. Can I go near? It's somewhere between like Florence and Carenza. Okay, or even that far south. Fair enough. He goes for the same guess. And what was I trying to pronounce here? Cosenza. Yeah, okay, there you go. Uh, 2.5 times damage here. We are at a bit of a deficit. Nothing too crazy though. Let's see what we get. We're in the US speed limit. It's going to be 55. That sounds like an American speed limit to me. Ooh, we got eastern white pines here. So it is quite north. Do we get any other clues? I'm, I'm, I'm defaulting to like a... We have a lot of eastern white pine, I think. I'm not sure how much, but it definitely looks quite far north to me. I'm thinking like Pennsylvania would almost be like, I wouldn't really think this is like down here. So I'm going to actually like hedge it northeast in Pennsylvania for everything up here. And oh, such a good guess, man. What the heck? I mean, that's a really impressive guess. I don't know how he got so close. Honestly, I really don't. Maybe I had to exit full screen there, which you're allowed to do. Maybe there was actually some clue out, out of frame. Otherwise, that's just a really good vibe guess. Next one here, we have Sarawak Poles. And I really think this looks like Cebu area here. I might just send that in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to send that in. We have like this like kind of very like, yeah, okay. He gets it, man. Kale is turning it up. I mean, he, he shouldn't have missed that Ghana in the last one, but this this Julie's played very nicely. Um, but what was I going to say? We had that kind of very shaggy grass, which you get a lot around Cebu in those kind of river delta area. Okay, this is uh, bad. I think I'm going to go to the same place. 
in Madagascar. I just don't know where the coverage is for the most part. I'm going to go to the same place. I think there is a bunch of coverage around there. And let's put the pressure on and <laughs> hope that he somehow misses this. It is possible, I suppose, if, if he just doesn't think of it. But, uh, oh, we are so lucky, man. Uh, it's so interesting. He made so many nice guesses. And then that was a very straightforward Madagascar, which I missed by quite a lot. But I knew just putting the pressure on might be enough. And we are very close to hitting our all-time peak, right? I don't think we've hit 1600 yet. So that's kind of exciting. Um, <laughs> he typed to me, erm, so... Not particularly happy with that. Um, and uh, let's maybe go in one more time, I, I think. And uh, I'll say one, two, three, and let's jump in here. So, Kale, can we uh, can we take a final win against Mr. Salad himself? Um, would be nice to go three for three, although to be fair, he probably deserved that last one. Just a one blunder at the end there. And uh, we'll see. Okay, Kale is back. And... We are getting into things here. Let's see what happens. Snow poles are plenty here. Single white line. I think this is Sicily. I immediately got a Sicily vibe. I'm gonna I'm gonna trust my gut here. Um, the reason being, it's like very undulating, super undulating. And then we have a black back of the sign over here. And I think these are Italian snow poles. But what a guess! See what's going on. Kale just like is turning it up half the time here. I really thought that that was Sicily. Like that's such a Sicilian landscape. But to be fair, that place where he guessed is the other part of Italy that looks like that. Next one here, America, almost certainly, but where? Uh, it's looking very difficult to, to get the right region here, I would say. It feels quite cold off the grass, but you really can't trust that too much in my experience. Okay, do we go Kansas here? Kansas, I mean, it can be like, it can be North Dakota, can't even be Canada here. So I'm not too sure about that. I might just go Nebraska here. Nebraska seems relatively safe. And oh my gosh, it's Sask. And we have like an American style pole. And he just keeps on 5K'ing everything, bro. But it's okay because we still have half our health left and it's pre multis. I don't know. That was like, a, it was, it did look really Canadian. I don't know. But like, I don't know. I think I, I get a bit over, I get over sketched out by this map sometimes. Anyway, next one here, Brazil. I was practicing Brazil today. Oh, we have supports on the pole there. That's really interesting. I think it's Bahia for that reason. I think we are looking at a Bahia right now. South, southwest. Um, and it's fairly flat. We do have some mountains south or something. I'm going to go here. The angle fits. And yeah. Oh, wow. And he misses it. See, Kale is like such an interesting player sometimes. Like missing straightforward ones. That was a clear Brazilian pole. And then getting insane guesses as well. So been a really fun series so far. Next one here is a Bermuda. Conscious. Yeah. Everything's looking relatively Bermudan here, I would say. Lots of coconut palms, which I like. I think this is just Bermuda. Oh, that's a French, and no, it's a French sign. It's a French style. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That should be a French style. So we're in Réunion. I hope, man. I didn't get time to check which hemisphere we're in. I hope that this is Réunion, because I really thought it looked like Bermuda. Let's find out. Okay, and it was. Great. Okay. Very last minute change there. Very much pays off. Um, and we would have been finished, obviously, if we did, if we missed that. 1.5 times damage here. Let's see what we get. And it's going to be, ooh, it's going to be an interesting one. Is this ever USVI? No. No, I think not. But is it instead Veracruz? Yes, I like Veracruz. That looks like a, a Mexican-shaped pole, I would say. Um, it just kind of looks octagonal to me. This can be Chiapas, Tabasco, Campeche as well. So this was a bit of a commit, maybe an unnecessary commit. Should have maybe gone a bit further east, but, you know, we'll find out. It could be good. He might not know it's Mexico. He has been struggling to get the country on some of these ones. And yeah, he goes, he goes Brazil, and it was a bit too much of a commit. But it was actually Veracruz, and we win off the game there. So there we go. That is uh, the conclusion of the first day, and we have crossed 1,600. What a nice way to do it. And uh, we are into the top three, so we still need to win a few more here. So we'll do that tomorrow. Um, but uh, yeah, let's check out where we are in the main ratings here. So globally, 1,600 puts us at 70th in the world. That's not too bad. Uh, look, I mean, everyone on here is really good. We're up with Foul, you know, former world number one, Lucas Bond, cracked player, Repler, cracked player. And in Australia, we're equal with Repler now, and we would otherwise be uh, fifth. So there you go. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Uh, it was a lot of fun to film, so hopefully that was indeed the case. And uh, shout outs to Kale for actually giving me some interesting games rather than some 800 rated games. And yeah, guys, I'll see you guys in a video very soon. Till next time.